Hello Cancer and welcome to your July 2022 Singles Love Reading. Cancer, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with everybody, so please take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. Feel free to check your moon and rising signs or any other signs in your chart that you feel drawn to check and see, you know, if there's more clarity or more guidance or whatever you are looking for will be there for you. Cancer, um, my name is Rudy. I appreciate you all being here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, if you're new, uh, I, gl I am glad your energies drawed drew drew you two here. Yeah. Mm. I'm glad you came. <laughs> it's been a day, and thank you so much. If you are returning, thank you again for coming back for your trust, your support, your likes and subscribes, all your energies. I appreciate everybody. So thank you so very much. Okay, I'm trying not to get ashes all over. A little Palo Santo Sage here, and we will get started on your reading. Cancer, this is a singles love reading, so you could be newly single. Maybe you're not in a relationship. Maybe you haven't been in a relationship for a long time. Maybe, um, you know, you, you're quote-unquote dipping your toe back in to see what's out there, see what the energies are. Again, this is a general reading for the energies of um, July, so it's general <laughs> you know it's general it may hit you and it may not it may resonate with you and it may not again check your other signs all right cancer i'm gonna pull three cards for uh the energy to start off with and sometimes you know people get upset because they're quote unquote knight in shining armor or or queen and princess whatever or person in shining armor doesn't come in or doesn't show themselves and i tell them that sometimes it's the um you know you have work to do on yourself they might have work to do on themselves so just bear with all right Let's see what we have going on for cancer faith choice I like that and peace beautiful beautiful peace faith and choice talk about just a chill reading right it's like um <clears throat> you know you're at peace that you have faith that things will work out okay that you'll make the right choice when the time comes this is how i see this plain and simple you know we start out with peace and this is not only the peace that is you know for yourself but it's for the person that you're drawing in or the person that you want to connect with or the person that you want to to call in uh, you want a peaceful relationship. You don't want a relationship that is uh, bickering and fighting and uh, finger pointing and drama, right? You want peace. You want peace. And, you know, by the looks of the picture, you may want um, a family if you don't have one already. You may want to, oops, sorry, you may want to go that route. Um, and again, you have faith that things will work out. You have faith that everything will be okay. You have faith that uh, not only that, you have the wisdom. And I could, um, I kind of feel um, a little bit that there's people around you that support you. There's people around you that, and they could be your ancestors. They could be your passed on loved ones that you feel or you hear in their dreams or you feel them. Um, they could have messages for you. I absolutely love these pops of purple around this card. I think it's gorgeous. Um, I just feel that, you know, I think you could be strong in faith and you could be, or spirituality you know whichever but you could be you know telling others about it or professing to how you how you believe or whatever but I believe that you have um, support around you you have people around you that really care for you and like you and um, what the best interest for you all right and then we have choice and again when it comes down to it you will make the right choice because I think you have that wisdom I think you have that guidance you have that inner knowing you have that um, you know not little voice in your head it's not like that it's almost like the dreams or um you could maybe want what your ancestors had possibly you maybe could want what they had like their um you know if they had a long healthy relationship you could maybe want a long healthy relationship as well I'm trying to see where it's the best thing for this oh not there hang on just a second what did i do what did i do all right we'll try that all right, so you have choice, and you know, um, she's looking in the crystal ball, so uh, 
I feel that, yes, you could go to other people. Yes, you could seek counsel from maybe a psychic or uh, a seer or something like that. But with this card in this reading, in this position, this is telling me that you have the answer. You know the answer. You don't have to seek outward. You see the truth. You see the answer. You know. I almost feel cancer. It's like when you know, you know, right? When you know, you know. Um, you could absolutely be a person that, um, you know, it doesn't take you long to make your mind up about something. If you know what you want, you go get it, you know. You don't have to... Um, ask everybody you know you don't have to ask everybody all right sorry about that i thought i had this on airplane mode i don't know how to turn it off so we'll have to wait all right um so we start out with the six of cups and that talks about nostalgia it talks about you know it could be talking about childhood sweethearts uh, talking about how things used to be the simplicity of life you know i think we all kind of miss that if you're over <laughs> two right or three you probably miss the simplicity of life how things used to be and we start out with the peace again childhood memories nostalgia re-remembering how things were re-remembering how simple things were and kind of trying to keep that in the vein going into this with um a partner you know, you, you want that simplicity. You want it to be easy. You, you don't want it to be complicated. Um, you kind of want it to be as simple as it was like in, in school to meet somebody or in college to meet somebody. Or, you know, um, this could portend also about a past relationship that you had that you did find very peaceful. That you did find, you know, that you took a lot of peace from that may be um, peace, P-E-A-C, not I-C-E. Uh, or IEC, yeah. Anyway, uh, peaceful, knowing that uh, maybe wanting to draw that back in or maybe wanting to reconnect with them even. You may be wanting to reconnect with that person. Possibilities. Under the faith card, you have the five of wands, and this is a card. It can be talking about you have your... Um, drama you have your conflict you have your chaos you know it's a card of change five is a number of change um and it's also to me i see it like a practice makes perfect so you know you have faith that all the people that you've seen in the past all the all the dates you went on all the all the things you have faith that there are going to be a um you know there's a reason there's a reason for it right you have faith that there's a reason that you had to go through everything is kind of how i see it um again it goes back to you know having faith in your choices having faith in yourself knowing that you don't have to um again Whatever you've been through in the past, whatever relationships you've been through, you take the knowledge from it and you move yourself forward with it, right? And you have faith that it will lead you to the right choices. It will, you have faith that it's going to red, red flag the choices that are not suitable for you. And you will, you know, when we know better, we do better. Under choices, you have judgment. So it really talks about starting again, starting clean, starting over, um, be, being given a second chance, being given a chance to wipe the slate clean, turn the page. You know, um, I always look at judgment like you, you've come into your own, you've come into to a time of understanding. You are listening to your higher self. You're listening to your higher vibrations. You have faith in the universe. You have faith in spirituality or in religion or whatever you have faith in. That it will guide you the way you need to be guided. You also know that you have free will. You have choice. And that um, by lessons in the past, you will make the right choice. And you're given this, you know, listening to a higher self, heeding the call, um, Again, it goes back kind of to the dreams, you know, what you want to manifest. I look at this card like a brand new notebook where you turn the page and it's white or blank or lined or nothing's on it. And you have a crisp pencil or a pen or whatever you, your, you know, weapon of choice is to write with. 
possibilities are endless is what I feel with the judgment card. The possibilities are endless. It's almost like you paid your dues. You've done the time, so to speak. And now it's your time to, uh, it's your day of reckoning, reckoning. It's your day to come clean and start again. You know, start again. You could have made amendments or uh, amends, I think is the word, with your past uh, relationship. Even maybe you contacted them. Maybe they contacted you. Maybe you all left on a good note. You have the Four of Wands and the Death and the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. This is really, really good reading, guys. Really good reading, Cancer. All right. Let me see if I can go down just a little bit more. All right. So we have on Peace, which, you know, finding the peace, finding maybe um, an equal maybe kind of relationship that you used to be in that was very peaceful that was very calming to you that you didn't have to uh, worry over or fret over or you know maybe you were just too young maybe maybe looking for a good friendship that turns into right but this also talks about uh, wanting stability wanting structure and maybe you know maybe what you felt in the past in that relationship was a stable structured environment and that's what you're looking for now you're looking for that that same energy um, to come in and again you could be looking for marriage you could be looking for long-term commitment with the four of wands um, the structure stability um, could be a, a, a wedding this also can talk about going to an, an event and possibly meeting somebody there goes you know goes going to like a wedding or a graduation or um, a party or a baby shower anything and you could possibly meet somebody that you know may remind you of somebody in the past or you could maybe reconnect with somebody in the past uh, you could be going to um, a wedding of somebody that you maybe graduated with and then you'll reconnect with people that there's a there's a connection there with somebody from your past uh, situations from your past that brought you peace, that brought you um, tranquility, and you're looking for that stable energy maybe back in your life. Okay, we have the death card under the five of wands, under faith. So the death card talks about transformation. It talks about letting things go so things can come in, so things can transform. As hideous as this card looks, you know, um, there is light, there is sun coming, the darkness is lifting. Um, it is a card of Scorpio, if that is any, you know, it's a fellow water sign. The death card talks in this position, in this reading, about, you know, you have the faith needed. And you have to trust in the process. Um, trust in the process. Trust in your knowledge of everything that you've been through. That um, you are ready to pretty much turn over a new leaf to start again. You're ready. You've let the past go. You've let situations go. Um, that could be where this person comes in. Maybe it was a past relationship and maybe you came to amends with him. Maybe you let that person go completely. Let the whole situation go. That's where the judgment card comes in. Maybe you said, you know, I know everything's not your fault, but it's not my fault either. Not a hundred percent. So I'll take you know, blame on what's mine and you take blame on what's yours and on we go. That could be a possibility too with the judgment card and the death card. But you're definitely releasing. You're definitely definitely letting something go. You're not holding on to it. You're not um, having this as a, um, a constant reminder of a failure or um, somebody from your past. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, I don't believe any relationship is quote-unquote a failure I think there's bad choices on and on we could go with that but I think there is knowledge in everything we do and there is a learning experience in everything we do there just is so this this card talks about you know kind of a huge pat on the back especially under the five of wands about you able to let it go you're able to um, move forward you're able to um, see kind of the error of everything and not go back into that trap or not go back into that situation and and then we have the judgment with the Queen of Pentacles under choices. And this is where you come clean. Remember, you have the choices. You can stay in a rut or you can move out of it and you're moving out of it. You're deciding to move forward. You're deciding to start again. Turn the page. Start clean. Uh, you know, wipe off the chalk from the chalkboard. This person coming in, 
could be um, a person now presents as a queen. It can be a male. It could be female. There's no gender. It's gender neutral, even though it presents as a female. It's a queen of pentacles. Pentacles are your earth signs. They're your grounding energy. They are, you know, you're, you as a cancer have a tendency, can, can have a tendency to be up and flighty and um, kind of all over the place. This person can pull you back in. This person can ground you. This person can tether you. Uh, doesn't mean they are keeping you, so to speak, but they can tether you. They can keep you in that um, place of contentment right? Um, they are Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. There's a lot of um, fertility here. There's a lot of structure. There's a lot of potential with this person. That could be an older person than you or they could present as um, somebody that is a young person but has an old soul. That's a possibility too. They could be very good with money. They could be in finance. They could be a, into banking or anything like that. Um, you could meet this person possibly through work even, being a pentacle. Um, they are hard workers. They're not afraid to work. They're not afraid to save their money. They are, um, you know, very much in, you know, relationships can be very stable with this person. That's that's kind of where I was pausing and looking at these, these correlations here. It's like, you know, letting this thing, letting, letting this thing, letting the situation go will bring in more stable energy, will bring in what you're looking for, the stability and the productivity too in a relationship. It won't be stagnant. It's going to keep moving and growing and that's what you're looking for. So this is a possibility of a relationship coming in. Um, you also have that energy of maybe somebody from your past coming back or somebody from your past could be who you're ending things with. That's a possibility also. All right. Let's pull some clarifiers for the Four of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and oh, what was this card? Peace, of course it was. Blessings is what I was going to say. All right. What does Cancer need to know? What's a clarifier for the four, the six, and peace? Well, nobody wants to come out of the clarifier. There we go. The chariot. It's your card, Cancer. You're showing up in your reading. You're moving yourself forward. You're taking yourself out of the right. You're taking yourself out of. Right? You're, you're taking the reins. You're moving yourself forward. Isn't that a beautiful card? Mmm. Seven is the number of decisions. It's also your card of the tarot. Um, you're steering. You're in charge. You're moving yourself forward. You're going in the direction you want to go. You're going to a place that brings you peace. You're going to a place that brings you fulfillment and stability. You're um, you're moving yourself toward your your own structure. It's like again, you know what I said with this card with faith. You don't you feel like you don't have to quote unquote wait on people anymore. You don't have to wait. You just do. You're just doing cancer you're just doing it's like I don't have to uh, wait I'll be surprised I won't be surprised if the magician card comes out for you that's kind of the energy I feel is that you can manifest anything you want to manifest all right we have death five of wands and uh, faith death five of wands and faith what does cancer need to know for a clarifier please two of swords again choices the choice is yours you're moving yourself forward um, you know, you can stay in this chaotic energy. You can stay in this energy of conflict and drama, or you can let it go. You can let it end. You can put an end to it. The choice is yours. The decision's yours, right? Two is a, it's going to bring back balance and bring back stability. It's going to bring back this energy of, um, uh, of you feeling your, um, it's almost like you feeling like yourself again. Are you feeling in charge? Are you feeling you, right? It, it's got to come from within, Cancer. It can't be, again, it can't be what people, sorry, I just hit the camera. It can't be what people tell you. It has to come from within. It just has to come from within. And you're in charge of it. This is what the whole reading is about. You being in charge. You are in charge. You're in charge of your movements, your feelings, your emotions, where you want to go in your life, how you want your life to move, who you want to be with. You know, you're in charge, but you have to make those decisions. You have to make those choices. All right. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, judgment and choices. Speaking of choices. And, you know, remember when 
we looked at this card to begin with and I said it comes even though she's looking at the oracle or the crystal ball it's you can she's still she's still looking at it for herself there's not a reader across from her she's not seeking advice she's seeking advice from the oracle itself about herself there's not somebody telling her about it you know what I'm saying so it's like when you watch this reading and know that yes I'm delivering the message but it's going to be your choice that follows through your choice that propels you forward your choice that moves you forward I'm not telling you which direction to go in that is up to you so what is a clarifier for the Queen of Pentacles judgment and choices the Knight of Pentacles interesting another earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn um, now this could be you know they're a knight they're pentacles they're slow moving this could be another possibility of a person coming in or this could be where you're coming into this relationship and you're gonna take your time you know this person's offering you something you're gonna see it you're gonna acknowledge it they're not racing towards you they're not running towards you this this is this situation is going to give you the time needed to do whatever it is you have to do there's going to be no rush there's going to be no hurry there's not going to be any um, ultimatums you know at all there's going to be none it is your choice it is your pace you are setting it if it's different than that you don't need to be with any of these people <laughs> because they need to understand um, if you need time your decision might not may be made up yet you might not be completely clear to this energy when this person comes in and you know they might want to start a relationship and you're like I'm just ready for friendship or let's just hang out let's just go do stuff you know the pinnacles are all about going hiking and going being outdoorsy and doing all the things so that's a huge possibility that just you know you can just be friends for a while And see if anything else manifests from that all right Let's see what else we have for cancer self-worth absolutely you know and spark yes and things we lose in past relationships sometimes it's self-worth you know you know we go through or I go through I can only speak speak for myself but if, if you've been with somebody and they could talk you down you know you're not gonna find anybody if you let go of me there's gonna be nobody better nobody will love you like I do blah 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 or they could drag you down you know you're silly you're heavy you're this you're that they can make you feel bad but you know we have to love ourselves first before we can let anybody else in so this is talking about you doing the work on yourself this is talking about you looking in the mirror and you knowing the truth and not having to listen to a basically a bunch of BS and this talks about person coming in right talks about the spark you have got to have a spark with the person you can't just you know you can be friends you can go out and do stuff but you want that spark and what do they say you know within five seconds when you meet somebody if you know if you're looking and you're on a dating whatever uh, whether or not there's something there or not you know within five seconds so you want that spark you want that instant hit of Wow you know intrigue whatever it is whatever it is you want to call it all right let's see one more card for cancer it's turn into a long rating cancer oh here we go Luna moth interesting because um, there is uh, let's see a full moon on July 13th and it's in it's in Capricorn there is I think we just came off a uh, moon in cancer in June I'm not quite sure we have a new moon um, in Leo on the 28th so that could be possibilities uh, Luna moth interesting let's see what we have in the book if I can find it it's time to transform bad habits into good ones Take a healthy break from your obsessions to gain revelations. Take a healthy break from your obsessions to gain revelations. Whatever your obsessions are. That one song came, keeps coming to my mind. You're my obsession. I can't think of the name of it. My obsession. Um, mm -mm. Nope. And then I don't sing. 
but yeah, that song just hit because it says your obsessions. Um, and it could be where, you know, if you're stuck on this ending, if you're stuck on this person, if you're stuck on this person from the past, maybe they came back and said, hey, you want to give it another try? And you said, absolutely not. You know, that's a possibility too. Um, anyway, good luck to you guys. Take care of yourselves. Um, let me know how this resonates. I would love to hear from you. Do check out my channel. I do um, put out monthly readings for you all as well. Um, for health, career, and finance, and love. So check those out. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. Be healthy. Uh, cancer, until next month. Bye for now.